going to kind of like a vlog type style video. I don't really know. I'm basically going to show you a couple things that I got from Amazon. It was kind of like early Christmas presents. And then I'm going to show you some baskets my husband and I made up. Um, maybe a little bit of us making the baskets. Um, at least putting this um, shrink wrap on them. And then I'll kind of show you like my dogs because I love my dogs. So if you're not here for that, I get it. But um, as of right now, I'm just going to show you this. Now, I don't shop online very much, but when I do, I go ham. So I had to like give myself like a, a limit because, man, can I spend money. So anyway, um, I got myself one thing, which I have like really dry skin because I have a thyroid disorder and my skin, hair, and nails are just like freaking paper thin and they're just dry and brittle and they disintegrate when you blow on them. Um, my nails are so thin and brittle that like I can snag it on like anything and it just like rips it and it's it's insane and I hate it. But um, I I had to show my skin some love. I don't know if you guys noticed but my, my face is always so dry. My whole, all my skin is dry. So I got me this, which I was trying to get shea butter, but I was also trying to be cheap with myself, so I got this. Um, I can't read, so Him Himalaya? Himalaya? Am I saying that right? Like the Himalaya mountains and stuff? Um, Himalaya Cocoa Butter Intensive Body Lotion Deeply Nourishes, Intensifies, and Moisturizes. Um, yeah, so it's for extra dry skin, which is, which is what I need. But, um, yeah, so I got that for myself. It smells delicious. It smells delicious. But, yeah, it's, it's, we'll see how it works because I've only been using it for, like, a couple of days. So, next thing, um, I'll just go with the one I got my husband. So, my husband has been looking like a freaking caveman with, with all of his hair. So, Decided it was time that we replaced his uh, beard trimmer, and so I got him this one. I don't have the actual thing. He used it a couple times already, and I'm not about to be, like, friggin' with his hair, because he doesn't always clean it out. So anyway, it looks like this. Um, it's a cheaper version. It wasn't, like, the cheapest one, but, like, I'm a cheapskate. So yeah, anyway, it, it, it can do a lot of things, and he really needed that one, not to be all, you know, but bad. I felt good about that because he actually really needed it. So anyways, then I got, and here's the thing that sucks for my dogs. Moose likes to play and chew while Coco hates everything. Like I can't get her to chew on anything. If I get her a toy, she'll like hoard it and she'll kind of like keep it, but she doesn't do anything with it. And if I get her like a stuffed toy, she just like rips it to shreds. Like she's, she's evil basically. So um, I got this hoping um, hoping that, uh, I'm not even showing you the right side. I, I got this hoping that it would be, yeah, I don't know. My screen is like, is that just the lighting getting different? Yeah. So anyways, I got this, uh, which is like a, a doggy dental bone, which we got the, the blue. Yeah, I had to make sure. We got the blue and, uh, yeah. So what happens is you also get, well, yeah, I purchase it separately, but you also have to get um, toothbrush, toothpaste. <laughs> so you also have to get this, which is toothpaste. I just got, like, the cheapest one I could get that was, you know, you know, not, like, going to kill my dog. But uh, basically you there's a hole, if you see here, I'm not going to play with his because his is, like, gross now. But there's a hole in there that you supposedly put the toothpaste in, and then it squishes it out when they chew it. It don't fucking work like that. It don't work like that. Um, I, I put some in there, and the amount they want you to put in there in order for it to actually work is just insane. Not to be, like, overdosing my dog on, like, toothpaste and, like, causing stomach problems or diarrhea or something. So it didn't work, so I just kind of, like, spread it on the bristles. Um, it didn't work for that either because they just licked it off and then chewed on it. 
So next, <laughs> which is the last thing, don't worry guys, I'm boring. Uh, it's called, I was just gonna, <laughs> this is called a treat dispensing bob a lot. And it does bob a lot. So here's the thing, so it's, it's actually really cool. If you have dogs that are just kind of like bored, um, if you have dogs that um, don't do much or they don't get a lot of walks or anything like that, this is awesome. Um, it pr provides hours of mental stimulation and physical activity, dual chambers, dispense treats and kibble, adjusting adjustable opening to customize difficulty, which is a big deal because my dog Moose has figured this thing out and like he just kind of like bobs it with his foot. I'll show you a video a little later. But um, yeah, so basically what all you gotta do, it looks like this. So first off, looks like this um, and this little thing. Let me see if I got the right side. I just closed it for you guys and then like you can open it or you can like have it halfway depending on how big your treats or food is. Uh, we put our dog's actual food in here because it just works best. But So the, the bottom is weighted and then you can take this top off and it's just a little cap. And then inside you have this and basically, where is it? Okay. Basically, you can open or close it. I don't know if you can see this with my big ass hand in the way. But anyways, yeah, you can open and close it. Basically, you pour your food into this or your treats, whatever, into this. And then you put this on the floor and your dogs have fun. They just bob it around or they try to lick it and get their stung, tongue stuck in it. I don't know. You should probably watch them because of that. Coco likes to try to lick it open, uh, lick, lick it out, I mean. And so I have to kind of like watch her so she doesn't get her tongue in there. But yeah, so I thought that was really cool. My dogs are bored all the time. So I guess I'll just show you guys the baskets now. Um, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that I went to the store twice now. Wait. No, I, I rode with my husband to Dunkin' Donuts once. Yes, I went to Dunkin' Donuts. Um, got a, a coffee. Um, secondly, I went to with my husband yesterday, and we picked up some things for the baskets that we made up. And while I was there, I'll be happy to let you guys know that um, I was looking for some Jack, Jack Link products because... Well, that's part of our little thing we were supposed to do. So I went and did that, and as I was looking for them, I must have looked lost and confused like always, but one of the workers asked me if there was something that they could help me find, and usually I would just kind of like run away, like I'm not even lying. I literally just kind of like scurry away and find my husband, or like if my husband is next to me, I kind of just look at him like, speak for me. Um... But he was not there, and I kind of panicked, and I was panicked so freaking much that I literally was just like, do you guys have any of the larger Jack Link packages? <laughs> it was awful. Like, I'm sure I sounded normal. I don't know. I hope I did. But, like, I almost wanted to cry. I felt like I was about to, like, burst into tears, and I kind of felt like my whole body start to, like, shake like I was having my own little mini earthquake. And yeah, I walked away feeling so lightheaded. It was insane. I walked up to my husband and he's like, what's wrong? I just spoke to somebody. <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was stupid, but also a huge thing for me. I literally spoke to somebody and yeah, it was terrifying, and I, but I did it. And she told me there was no other larger packs there. And I just walked away and said, thank you. So yeah, um, I don't really have much else to say. So this is a basket Bill and I put together for my neighbor slash friend. Um, we then have these, which I think they look pretty cool. Um, we got dog chocolate, you got Slim Jims, um, can never go wrong with beef jerky, and snack mix.
started filming. Oops. Are you going to say this one looks the best again? <laughs>